the pieces today after a car plowed right into his shop. Now at 319 News reporter Winnie Dorch live with the story. Winnie. Well, Nikki, this is where that car came barreling through, pushing everything to the front. It is boarded up now, but inside, so much damage, so much work to be done, and the owner is simply heartbroken. It's been hard. You know, the pandemic, <laughs> all this. One disappointment after another. It seems to never end for Espresso Bakery owner Keith Black. With tears in his eyes, he stands and looks at his shop on 4th Street in Elyria. A complete mess after a car ran into the back of the building Sunday morning. You see the gas lines got uh, pulled and twisted and yanked and then the ceilings and then the stoves got tossed. And your wife was in this area? She was standing right where you're at right now, wow. right by this fryer. She was standing here. Wow. And uh, that just missed her. Black's wife tried to rush to the front of the shop to warn the employees on the clock at the time. There's smoke, there's fumes, there's gas fumes. My wife sells gas and she tries to go toward the front and the front was blocked. And she yells to him, get out, get out, there's gas, there's gas, and the car was running. She then runs out of the back door, comes in through the front, only to find their employees hadn't made it out yet. A customer also there to help. The one girl that was working here, she was trapped behind the counter. And then the other lady was uh, behind the counter too. So one of the customers pulled the counter and then uh, she climbed out. And then the other lady, my wife, was trying to get her out from over there. Although everyone made it to safety, there's now extensive damage and emotional distress. This takes Black back to 2020 when the pandemic put a damper in his pockets then. The pandemic hits shuts me down and everything. <laughs> then I was shut down for six weeks. And then I overcame that. So now will he overcome this time? But we're gonna try and see how everything goes. And the shop is usually closed on Mondays and Tuesdays and opens back up on Wednesday. But as you can imagine, that's not happening right now. Black tells me it will take thousands upon thousands of dollars to get this shop open. But he's thanking the community for their kind words and willingness to help. Reporting in Elyria, I'm Winnie Dorch, 19 News. Well,